Hey guys, it's APFQ Tech Writer. Um, this is the core i5 processor Ivy Bridge 3570K LGA 1155 socket. This is the processor which we're going to use for our build, the motherboard right in front of us. Uh, here you can see the processor uh, clearly through the window over here. Serial sticker on the side and whatnot. So we're just going to show you what's inside. This is just mostly the, just the processor and the standard uh, Intel heatsink with this. Uh, I would actually recommend, you know, for first time builders, you know, for those of you who don't know, um, to use a third party or aftermarket heatsink just for a better uh, temperature drops and also for better stability of also your build. So um, we got a manual uh, with a sticker to put on your front of your case if you want to. And we have our heatsink right here, our standard heatsink from Intel uh, with the thermal paste already applied. I'm going to pop this up. There you go. So it's your, just your standard fan right here. It has a four pin um, CPU fan header. Uh, most fans in the market have three pins, but newer ones have uh, four. Um, so, and again, this is, I believe this is like, uh, I believe this is made out of aluminum with a uh, copper base over here with thermal paste on the top. And you also have your screws over here to screw it into the pins on the motherboard just to secure it. Um, so that's it for the heat sink. And processors are on the side. I'm just, I guess we have to slide this out. Oh, open it. Here we go. Processor. See, um, so the i5. Can't really see it. It's kind of like etched into the. You probably see it now. Core i5, 3570K, Costa Rica, 3.4 gigahertz. Uh, can be turbo boosted up to 3.9. Uh, can be also be overclocked since this is a K series. But you have to use um, compatible chipsets such as the Z77 chipsets for overclocking. Um, can overclock it to probably like uh, air cooled, stable temperatures, maybe to 4.5, 4.6 gigahertz. Any anything further, you probably have to do go with liquid cooling such as closed loop water coolers. Yeah, the best ones from Corsair, etc. So um, that's about it. Um, pretty, pretty decent performance gains. Uh, it's a quad core processor, no hyper threading, but with turbo boost. Um, so it's very good for multitasking, gaming, graphic designing, etc., video rendering, uh, provided that you have a decent graphics card attached to that. So and that's about it, and that's our unboxing of the Intel. Core i5, I apologize, 3570K processor. Stay tuned, comment, subscribe. And that's probably it with our videos for the build. Um, there's nothing really interesting else to uh, unbox. So um, we'll probably have a video later on of our final build. Uh, stay tuned, comment, subscribe.